The Skull Experiment. This is one of the books written um, Grant and Jane Solomon, I believe. Um, also another one here called Witnessing the Impossible by uh, Robin Foy. Um, very thick, very heavy book. Uh, quite rare to get hold of now. There's also another third book, but we've lent it out recently. The, the Skull Experiment is um, a new way of physical phenomena. Uh, seances, physical mediumship, um, home circles. It's a very, very fascinating subject that I find very, very interesting. And a number of individuals who have come across the subject are just blown away. I believe for sure that the skull experiment was a proof, physical proof of beyond the physical, of afterlife, of, of so much evidence that it was one of the most reported cases, the pu most public reported cases out there in history to show what is possible. Hence the name of the book, Witnessing the Impossible. I haven't read all these, I've read some of them. Um, I'm not an avid reader. Uh, no offense to any any authors out there. I am just find that, you know, watching and doing things hands-on. I'm a kinesthetic learner, so I'm not a huge reader, but I've watched a lot of the videos online on YouTube. I recommend watching the Skull Experiment video. It's, it's really, really fascinating. So from what I know the Skull Experiment is, the Skull, uh, S-C-O-L-E, the Skull, is um, a village in United Kingdom and um, it was basically formed by a number of people, um, Robin Foy um, and his wife and two other mediums, I've forgotten the names, apologies. And one of them was a trance medium and the rest were, you no, know, they weren't mediums at all. Or they, I guess they were sensitives. They weren't really practicing mediums or anything like that, but they sat for spirit uh, religiously, not in a religious way, but um, persistent, consi consistently every week, two or three times a week, in a cellar, which was blacked out um, in complete darkness. Mm -hmm. And in the darkness, you will find light, and that is true. <laughs> a number of senses we've had here already when spirit have come through, uh, through, through the medium and said, anyone got any questions? And everyone goes completely quiet. And usually the answer is, you come into the darkness to find the light and you've got no questions. And that's usually the case, because then when you put on the spot, you just, speechless, you don't know what to expect. And I guess the Skull Experiment also didn't either. From what I know, how they operated is that they didn't have a physical medium, but together they worked in something called this, the new way, um, is, it hasn't got a name currently at the moment, but the new way is working together. And they all sat around a table with some candles around and they just sat, meditated and held the energy there um, I'm not sure if they sang songs, but they raised the energy. And music plays a very important role in home circles and seances, where we sing very happy, cheerful, popular, famous songs to build up the energy, because spirit love energy, they love building up. Uh, when I built the roundhouse many years ago, which isn't here now, um, it got so old and it was made of wood and, you know, I didn't take care of it or do it properly when I built it. But when I did, I spent many, many hours in there singing with candles on, with the fire going. It was very uh, back to the roots, ancestral sort of vibes. It was very shamanic in a way. And I, I believe through then I didn't have so much spirit contact, but I had a lot of spiritual experiences there, you know, by just shutting off out the world and also joining circles over the years, over the, you know, over 20 years that I've been involved in spirituality, mediumship, uh, moving here in Somerset from Reading in England um, to build the retreat center here and the seance building. Um, I attended a number of uh, development circles through, I think, four, four different mediums, local mediums in, in the UK and attending their development circles to develop um, whatever ability I had. Uh, the main important one I had was 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 healing at the time, and um, you know things took off. I first started with mental mediumship, then I went into um, uh, like some trance mediumship, and then I went into like healy healy. <laughs> I don't know what healy is, healing, uh, Reiki healing. 
Um, so I'm a Reiki master, but I don't really advertise as that. I just, I just call it healing because it all comes under the same umbrella. So over the many, many years, I learned so much about different phenomena and different practices that I eventually came to explore and experience um, physical mediumship and seances, which I heard about many years ago. And I didn't realize how popular and, you know, how potentially rare it is. It's, it's rare to see many public seances, but it's very popular along very quiet groups that keep things very, very quiet. So the way uh, typical seances work is using having a physical medium that has the ability to produce a lot of ectoplasm and use that ectoplasm in, in, in their seances to produce apparitions, full form materializations, ectoplasmic hands, uh, um, direct voice phenomena, uh, apports, uh, etc. But that's the known as not the old way. It's still a new current way. But the that was basically using a medium and then uh, sitters. So as you can see here, we have in the back we have our cabinet with a chair in there where the medium usually sits, and then around it we have some chairs, and those are the sitters. So the new way of how the skull experiment worked, and you know, if you are a, a practitioner of uh, circles and home circles, and you're looking to really understand more and to experience more, then all you need to do is sit. And what they did, I actually found the, the dome now, which is this dome. I believe my father had to put this together, my uncle and my father, and uh, had a, got a glass dome, and uh, they basically had a, Sorry, it's a bit dirty inside, it hasn't been used for a while. Put a wooden um, stand on the bottom and cut a hole in the bottom. And they would sit with, with this um, in the center of uh, the development circle, um, sorry, the home circle of the skull experiment in, in the village of Skull. And uh, they would sit around a table, only four of them. I believe it was five people at first, then they ended up with four people. They sat around a table. And they weren't using ectoplasm. They were storing the energy inside this dome to later be to be used again later. So I haven't really worked with this at all, the dome, but I know how much potential it it shows what what can happen. Um, so with my experiences in the seances, I've been there's so many I can talk about. I've seen apports. I've touched and seen ectoplasm. I've heard voices. I've seen. Um, furniture being moved around <laughs> on its own as well as table tipping where participants have their fingers lightly on the table and so the connection with the table is then I guess the chi or life force is then being channeled into the table and then spirit can can use that I've seen automatic writing uh, psychic art not psychic art but actual trance channeling art by, an, uh, by a certain medium so I've seen quite a lot of stuff, um, but like I say in a previous video, is that your your own personal experience is one that is more validated. So when you are sitting in a home circle, you have a lot more validation for yourself. It's good to see other mediums and see how they practice, but take the, that practice, that inspiration, into your own um, self-discovery, your own development. and form and create a home circle that is what is very very important to do and that's something that we you know stress highly that a lot of people need to be in home circles so get off social media get off going you know down the pub and getting drunk <laughs> not saying completely do that not do that at all you have your own free choice but you know dedicate a time in the week where you're meeting up with spiritual people you know spiritual people in your area just be the leader and say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about starting a, a development circle at my, my home, home circle. We'll just meditate together and see what comes, comes out of it because no expectation, anything can happen. Um, but be prepared for things to happen when they do. But it's, you have to be consistent with it. And that is the key, is that when you show up, spirit will show up eventually and form and they'll see how dedicated you are and they'll make things happen with you. You are forming that bridge between physical, the physical world and the non-physical and you're forming that bridge for you to, to both connect and touch. It's like that painting of Adam and Jesus, you know, touching the finger just almost because it's not always 
you know, fully touching is always that connection and just about on the edge. And so, yeah, I think that painting is very, very powerful, really, um, of, of God and Adam. The fingers touching just, just outwards. So, yeah, um, do your research as much as you can, but you don't need much to start off with. You know, have a dedicated space that you, you meditate, um, that's quiet, no distractions. You don't need much in there, make sure you can black it out, maybe light a candle. And that's how some circles are styled off with, with a simple music player in the background, playing some music, sitting and meditating, light a candle and go from there. Because that's how a lot of uh, development circles, home circles have started off with. They start off with um, just a candle flickering and uh, then things evolve and they feel what is right. So that feeling is the intuitive feeling of the spirit teams and your guides connecting with you for what you should be doing and what you're being led to. But things change over time and um, every, you know, change is good. So keep positive, everything's gonna be going great. If you follow you know, the certain steps in, in many different practices, just find what works with you. But turn your phone off, you know, sing some music for you know, 20 minutes, then meditate together, you know, eyes closed, whatever, just allow things to happen. Sounds, smells, um, eventually your other senses will in heighten and be more finely attuned. So uh, wishing you all the best in your self-discovery and home circles. And um, until next time, check out my other videos and I'll see you there.